I guess right out of the gate, Caitlin Clark has said to be uh, an alternate for the Olympic team. Uh, now, I don't know. I have seen red rumblings. And, and, and these days, guys, watching, y'all know. I'm going to look up her averages while you're talking about that. We don't know if some of these memes are real or if they're not. We, we just don't know. It had been said, allegedly, that uh, she is – Brittany Griner had failed a test of some sort, uh, and now she was going to be she added was, to the team. I don't know if there's any truth of that. I, I, I mean, I read that. I've also uh, read she might play for Canada. Yes. Canadian coach did offer. Really? But did she turn them down? I don't know. I hadn't heard a, a response. Well, she has uh, 14 games. Uh, she's 15, 16 points a game. I think she had 30 again the other day. Did she have? It's got her game by game, but she's getting six assists, uh, 90% from the line. Last five games, she is. Well, where's the points? 30. Uh, she's not scored much. She went. She had a bad game. But, I mean, she's doing good. I want to see how they're doing. Well, Indiana fever. Uh, Four and ten. They've won two in a row. Well, they beat, uh, they beat Reese's team here. Yeah. And that's what I was talking about opening the show there. She hit her in the head. She was going for the ball and. They try to make a big deal out of it. Well, yeah, because, I mean, you know, just the tension that she brings to the game. And, you know, mm -hmm. I don't – look, man, the girls, they're not as nimble of mm -hmm. athletes as the guys, right? Right. I mean, right. I'm not being whatever, you know, against – I'm not against any race of people. It's the truth. Yeah, I'm just saying. They're just not as nimble as the guy – the NBA men players. I don't um, I don't know if she really was maybe going for the ball, and she's just a little clumsy on some things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she plays hard. She gets knocked around a lot. Did you see the one where uh, Reese got a fast break and they pitched the ball over the top and she gets it? I mean, it, and it, you know, in NBA, it's going to be a highlight windmill dunk. Mm -hmm. And she just does this weird kind of – she jumps and, like, kicks her legs out apart. This weird, look at like a sixth-grade girl. Did it go in? Down. I've not saw that. Like her feet come like this high. Yeah, I mean, when he, it just looked very unathletic. I, you just forget that they're, you know, it's the WNBA. Right, right. And they right. still lost $50 million this year. Really? Yeah. After all the money they've made with her. They're going to kill her. I mean, they're going to they're going to take her out. They're going to take Clark Even out. with Clark, they still lost 50 Well, and, you know, that's why they can't uh, pay their – you know, I've heard somebody say, why don't they make what the men make? Come on, man. The ticket, they don't sell their the tickets. tickets. To. No, I mean, their tickets are cheaper and there's nobody there. And as long as there's girls that look like guys running up and down the court, like, the girls ain't watching them. No, like, I don't know any women that watch them. No. So if you want guys mm -hmm. to watch, then, I mean, I don't, guys don't, most guys don't want to see a 6'6 six, six girl with a shaved head with neck tattoos that sets down at the media after the game and says, so how'd you do today? Uh, back here in the back, uh, John Doe, uh, you know, you had a, a two block shots and had 23 points tonight, you know, but you lost. How are you going to get better? Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> we're going to try to step up the tempos at practice. They don't want to hear that at, right. a, at a women's media. Yeah. After the yeah. game. It's just not, it's not attractive to to guys. Yeah, and, and yeah whether, so they're not going to watch. Whether y'all want to celebrate, whatever you want to celebrate this month, celebrate it. But the facts are, they ain't selling tickets. No, no. Celebrate whatever you want to. That's and they're, they are selling tickets when she comes to town, though, right? Yeah, they've had to change. Uh, they've had to change theaters and stuff. I mean, yeah. had to, I mean, she's 16 points a game, modest numbers. Yeah. She's not going to average 30 her first year in the WNBA. Yeah. But she's also not going to fail. No. What up? You know, that one girl had made a comment that, no, welcome to the big leagues. You're in for a rude awakening. And she's not done as well, but she's still 16.6 assists. Come on, man. Yeah. You're scoring 28 points a game. 
She's a good player. I mean, that's if they don't six assists is twelve points. So. They don't hurt her for good. And uh, mm-hmm. talking about basketball, Charles Barkley said he's going to run it through finish this year, and he's going to finish next year too. Right. Yeah. He's going. He's, he's got, got one that. more year. He's going to finish this one out, and then he's going to go ahead and work all season next season. And we know that the TNT lost their deal with the NBA. Mm-hmm. Um, so, man, look. What I, a great career, though. God, I mean, he's got to be on TV, and him and Shaq have made so many funny jokes to each other. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. Yeah. Them two are just two old guys that love the game and love to talk trash to each other. And they get on each other's nerves sometimes. But I tell you right now, probably – if either one of them got into it with somebody, the other one would be there. To, I thought at one time they didn't like each other. No, I don't. I don't think that's the fact. That's just some of that men locker room. They have stuff. gotten into it. Before, yeah, it's though, just some of that men locker room jawing stuff. You know, just trash talk. Where's your rings? Yeah, you know where you. Charles Kobe carried it. you. Yeah, which is not the truth. No, they carried each other. Yeah, they were a great team. So hats off to uh, Big C Dup C B. That right out of Auburn. Had a good career, made lots of money. I'm sure he's got a big, nice house, and his family and grandkids will never have to work. No, no. He's done – remember them, what, 20 – this will be 26 uh, yeah. years next year? It's been a while. And played college, pro basketball, what, for 15, yeah, 14? So he's he's well taken care of, mm-hmm. very well taken care of. Um, some other news, Splash Brothers. Yeah, yeah, Clay Thompson looks like he's going to be out. Uh, deleted their team – his thing team page off his Twitter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I heard that. And, uh, you've heard the Knicks. I've heard Knicks. And, uh, you've also heard, I've heard Oklahoma city, mm. but I think they're ready to make a change there. He's had a great career. I mean, how long? Oh gosh. 12 years, 13, maybe 14. Well, they went on a good run, man. They, oh yeah. I've had a Classic. Good... What they went at four times. Yeah. I mean, they're, they had, and, Statistically speaking, they're one of the best teams the NBA ever had. And I thought his numbers were way down. And I looked to stats, 17 points a game. That's not bad. No, I mean, how many people up to average 17 in NBA? Yeah, yeah. they were talking about how he just wasn't playing well anymore. And uh, 17, he might not, he's probably not at shooting this. And I didn't know this, but a friend told me a few years ago, at one time, him and Curry had the highest three-point field goal percentage of any backcourt in NBA history, and they may steal. They're good, man. They, they Is did. he a Hall of Famer, Clay Thompson? <sighs> Not to me, no. He's a good – He's kind of out looking in, maybe. Yeah. He's a he's that guy you needed in games and moments, and, and he went on spills there for a while, and he would get hot, man. He's a shooter. Oh, yeah, he is I mean, big time. He can shoot the ball. Yeah, he, yeah. He'll, you know, he'll go in, but everybody, here's the thing. You'll never, ever escape this. You'll never escape the ideas of getting old. Yeah. No, yeah. You just can't play forever. No. Uh, and I know people don't want to hear it, but, I mean, James can't go on much longer. Well, I mean, and he still plays well. Yeah, he does. In the, in the style of basketball that we play today, this easy loafing lobby, you know, um, uh, Donkage, yeah, it's a little different. That Donkey style, I mean, where you can just put your head down and, and push a lot and not get called, which, you know, back in the day, you didn't, get, you didn't get a lot of calls for that pushing stuff. Yeah, I know. Well, that'll lead us into this next one. Speaking of basketball today, what do you think about game four? We that, decided to get together and watch it together. Uh, that we didn't watch the, long. The biggest bucket of pure yellow urine. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think it's just because we watched it together. I don't. They were twenty. How, how long were they at twenty five? Five minutes was it? I'm talking about five minutes of playing time. I'm not talking about five minutes. They could care less if they were playing down at the pickup court, the asphalt, the blacktop, or anywhere. They just had no ambition to play basketball. That no, no, and it was. It got away from them pretty quick. I mean, now they, Dallas was hot. They had the second team in playing by third period. I don't look, well, dude, just quit. They just they pure absolute sorry quit. quit. Well, so the sweep's out, but they go back to Boston tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to predict that Boston 
Yeah, I is crowned so. the champion, but I think it'll be a good game. Well, you know, this game Dallas, three we Dallas. watched. Uh-huh. Donkic had nearly thirty. Kyrie had Kyrie had twenty one with six assists, and even the um, Hardaway Junior had fifteen. And the the lively kid with the wild hair mm-hmm. is that lively. Uh, he had twelve rebounds, eleven points. Yeah, but yeah. Tatum and Brown combined for twenty five. Whew. Tatum had 15. I don't know. That's just something. Now, what me and Matt were talking, it looks like Garbage. if there's a championship for Boston, that it's that Brown will get the MVP, not Tatum. I mean, he aver- he's averaging 24. Tatum's averaging 21. He'll have the – he's already won the Larry Bird Trophy for being MVP East. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll find out, man. I mean, they go there and, you know, play like that again and just let – you know, Donkins and them just push him around. And Kyrie was his shots were going in. So mm-hmm. game two, no three. I think he was off the first couple of games, wasn't he? By uh, who? Irving. I could I know what I don't I thought he was off a little bit at first of the I mean he, he hadn't been lately. You just mean missing shots off? Missing shots. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. man. That, if they would have went in, they wouldn't have beat him game three. Right. He was getting his looks at the board. He, mm-hmm. he's how he moves the ball, those high layups off the glass. Yeah, he just they just wouldn't go in. Well, he's had a good career, and I think this is uh, – I think Dallas has had a good year. I don't think they need to hang their heads it's no just, matter uh, what. It's been surprising. I did hear that – which I don't know what the point of saying this is because they beat Minnesota four games to none, which they were close. But a lot of people's like it would have been a lot better finals I know yeah. Minnesota. But well, it's, they all, didn't. it's all about matchups. Mm-hmm. Football's this way. You know, it's like boxing, how guys match up with each other. And I don't know. I, we'll, we'll never know. No, no. I mean, we may next year. Do you think they pull it off tomorrow? I mean, yeah, tomorrow. Yes. Night? Yes. Yeah, because they're going to have that crowd behind them. You and think then, they lose on purpose so they can win it at home? They could have. They could have. Yeah, I mean, it's possible because they just didn't look good, but they just didn't hit. Oh, there was some just going all in the rim and bounce right. No, back I mean here. he had one layup that went in oh, no. and just come out. You just see it like back and forth and down in the net. Then, yeah, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, so we hope Celtics will. I'm pulling for them. Uh, they just blew it. Big old bucket of donkey pee. I mean, just terrible. That's the saddest basketball. <laughs> I, you put a bunch of sixth grade girls out there and played them better. That's just terrible. Well, you usually have a game like that in the finals, and maybe that was it. You know, I got to looking at some old finals, you know, back when Chicago and Los Angeles, and there was usually one game that was just an absolute They're gonna flood it, flood one. mauling, you know, just like even Boston and the Lakers one year when they were playing. One game was like 150 to 114, and you're like, what? Yeah, the next one I get blowed up by 30. Yeah, I mean, 150 to 114. Uh, that other basketball news. College basketball, Bama, North Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina. Rematch of the Sweet 16 mm-hmm. or Elite Eight. Elite Eight. No, I can't remember. They played. This time they'll lock up December 4th. And I, I think it was the Elite Eight. ACC, ACC, uh, what was it called? It was the SEC, ACC Challenge. Challenge. It was the Sweet 16, man. December the 4th. Mm-hmm. Because then they won again, beat Clemson in the Elite Eight, and then went to the Final Four and lost to UConn. Does this Bama team have a, I mean, with Sears coming back now and adding this other guy? Yeah, I mean, they got a good shot, I think, of going back. But that's hard to do, you know. It just depends on your draw in the tournament. I mean, but they got through a tough, tough group last year. You know, they got through North Carolina and Clemson, two very good teams, probably the best team Clemson's ever had, I would assume, in the modern since we've been watching. Yeah. But North Carolina's supposed to be loaded again. They got some guys back. Yeah, it's, all, it's North Carolina, man. Yeah, yeah. It won't uh, matter. They, they're going to be looking for revenge. That'd be a good early season matchup. December 4th. So, y'all tune in and check that out. Oh, yeah. The season will be, what, a week? Week and a half in, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Usually starts around Thanksgiving. What about uh, – I didn't tell you about this one. Running back, uh, B-A-T-T-I-E. 
Beatty. 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 Battle. Beatty. Beatty. Yeah. Uh, they got, got shot at Auburn. From, yeah. From yeah. Brian. Yeah. He's moved out of ICU and is improving daily, mm-hmm. says his mother. Oh, okay. Good. So he's uh, talking and, you know, being able to joke a little bit and, uh, He's just in a room now, just just okay, a room. So, so he is going to survive. Yep, he's out of ICU. So thank God for that. Yeah, yeah. Aub- Auburn running back, Batty. Uh, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. I actually don't know. Yeah, prayers for him and a quick recovery. And I mean, I, I ain't worried about football. I'm just glad the young man made it because his brother did die. Mm-hmm. His brother had got killed earlier, so mm-hmm. his parents are dealing with. I still dealing with that. I'm sure because they say you never get over something like that. Think you're having a bad day. <laughs> Your kid's dead. Then the other son gets shot in the head. Right. Is that an ICU? Oh, man. Uh, Wasn't so, even into nothing. I don't know if the older brother was I either. I don't know. Just where they live in the area and people you hang out with. So, guys, be careful. When you get in a car with somebody this summer, dude, I'm telling you from personal experience, Everybody's going to jail. They'll sort out who's is what. Mm-hmm. And if you think one of your buddies is going to take the uh, takes the dime for you, <laughs> yeah, no. Let me tell you, no, that's not. That, that's the movies. Let me tell you, in the movies, that's how. That's not how it works in real life. I watched a show last night where a mother uh, took the rap for her son, and the son did not step up and confess. Just let his mom take the rap. She's in jail for life. Ooh. And they know. I mean, the cops talking. They said we know that he drug her into this to kill the ex-wife. Hmm. She hired somebody, but I was like, we know he hired her, and they couldn't prove it. And he never did. Next week, locker room sports, ID channel, <laughs> ID channel, tune in, guys. Next week. But he made a good point. No, they're more than likely not going to. No. So be careful who you get in the car with and you are who you hang out with. Mm-hmm. And here's another old saying, if you hang out with the dogs up on the porch, mm-hmm. probably get fleas. Oh, yeah. That's the truth. I'm telling you from personal. Todd, tell them I know. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. Kind, of, what kind of past I had. Right, right. I'm telling you I know. Just. Well, I've been in the wrong place the wrong time, too. I mean, en- we all have. Enjoy your summer. Go swimming and enjoy your time with your friends and. Just enjoy being young. Mm-hmm. Those bills and life's going to come at you fast. And like this young man here, you can be up in the hospital shot in the head and don't even, I mean, you know, you're just there. Right. Just get, I, I don't know what happened or, or like the guy at Bama, you know, pistol in the back of the car and your buddy tells him to bring it down here. and Yeah. You're drug into it. Oh, and next thing you know, he did it. He might as well have. Yeah. You're, well, that's haters of yeah. the school. So he was involved in that shooting. I'm like, he was inadvertently involved in that shooting. Well, that's just, I mean, that was my opinion. It's just a lot of people that are fans of and what being a fan of anything has to do with somebody's life. I, we love covering sports, but it's definitely not my 